Hi everybody, it's Pastor Ashley, and um, I'm here in the sanctuary. I'm recording this actually uh, Sunday morning while we're here to do the live stream. It's a little bit quiet before everybody gets here. And one of the things that I've heard from a lot of people as we're navigating this time of not gathering in worship together is really missing the sanctuary here at church. And so I thought I would record a quick little video for you <laughs> so you can um, see the church, hear the echoes, hear the big space, the sense of um, awe and wonder and reverence. I think that I, hopefully the sanctuary will, uh, it helps us to get into. And um, this is a place where many of us have had really important moments with God and um, that have uh, sent us out to have really important moments with God in the world. and. Um, so I wanted to give you a sense of the space again, and I thought I would read very quickly um, a scripture as well. Um, and I know that for me, when things get complicated and messy and everything seems new, um, it helps me to go back to the basics, you know, and I think God's always bringing us back. Jesus is always bringing us back to that love of God and love of neighbor. And um, our hope, our faith is that there is a way to do that in all circumstances, that Jesus goes before us in everything. And so it's always good to remember what love is as we try to um, apply it to where we are now and the situation that we are in. Uh, even now, love works. <laughs> it is our best bet um, for um, following Christ, but also uh, we're following Christ into all the parts of our lives, even now, even in the midst of all of this change and all of this new stuff. So um, I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 13 as we remember and celebrate love. Hear the word of the Lord. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a sounding, resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. But we, for we know in part and prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man or woman, I put childish things behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. God bless you. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you this day and every day. Amen.